once T cells have, have undergone positive selection in the thymus, they then undergo negative selection in the thymus. So in the process of negative selection, we're going to try to eliminate any T cells that have a T cell receptor that binds strongly to self-peptides. So we're trying to do eliminate cells that will interact with our molecules, or specifically our peptides presented on MHC molecules. So this, is, um, this process is mainly uh, run using dendritic cells and macrophages found in the thymus. So again, these are some of these support cells you find in the thymus that are used to train and select for good T cells. And good T cells that don't interact with or recognize your peptides. So here is a dendritic cell or a macrophage that would be found in your thymus. Now, we know what these cells do. They do antigen presentation on MHC1 molecules and MHC class 2 molecules. In the thymus, they are presenting self-peptides. So we're not talking about phagocytosing pathogens in the thymus. We're just phagocytosing self-proteins that are found in the interstitial fluid. And when they get phagocytosed, they get processed through the process of antigen processing and presentation on, put on the surface of MHC class 2 molecules. These dendritic cells and macrophages have proteins in their cytoplasm. They're going to get processed through the ways we talked about before, sent into the ER, loaded onto MHC class 1 molecules. So these dendritic cells and macrophages found in the thymus are presenting self-peptides. So we're not talking about phagocytosing viruses or getting infected with viruses here. We're just displaying self-peptides. So why are we doing this? So let's say that first T-cell. It has a T-cell receptor that we know binds MHC molecules because it survived positive selection, and now it's a CD8. Uh, so it wants to be a CD8 cytotoxic T-cell. But now let's say it checks, starts checking all these peptides, and it says, wait a minute, I bind strongly to this peptide. So it wants to activate. It, it's going to recognize that peptide and it's going to activate. But that's our peptide. That is self-peptide. So what we have here is a self-reactive T-cell, also known as an autoreactive T-cell, because its T-cell receptor with its unique and specific antigen binding site is binding strongly to self-peptides. At this point, strong binding is something we do not want. So this cell, eliminated by apoptosis, because it was a self-reactive T-cell. It was binding strongly to our peptide, and that would be bad if we let out into the world it might recognize our peptide on a cell and then activate the T-cell, and that would be bad. So the second T-cell, it's got a T-cell receptor, and it has uh, ability to bind our MHC molecules, clearly if it survived positive selection. So it's going to check all of these MHC class 1s, because it's a CD8 positive T-cell. So if it binds MHC 1s loaded with our peptides with moderate to weak affinity, then guess what? this cell gets to live. Why does it get to live? Because it binds, it'll check, it'll bind the MHC molecule, but it's not going to stay really attached to it because it doesn't have strong or high affinity for it. So it binds and then it lets go. Binds and it lets go. So that means it's not binding strongly to the peptide. It's not recognizing the peptide. It recognizes our MHC, which is what we want. We want it to check MHCs. So that's where the moderate interaction comes in with but, so, and forget what I said about weak. We don't want weak. We want moderate interaction here. Um, it has moderate interaction with our self-peptides loaded on MHC, but it's not a strong interaction. So that T-cell now becomes a naive T-cell. And this is a CD8 naive T-cell, so it'll just let it out into the world. And if it activates, it'll become a cytotoxic T-cell. So this is where T-cells are gaining central tolerance. They are tolerant of molecules found in the uh, thymus, which is a central lymphoid organ. That T cell, that third T cell, it's going to do the same thing. It's, so it's a CD4 positive T cell, so it's going to check MHC2s. And if it checks MHC2s and it doesn't, oops, let's go back there. If it checks MHC2s and binds with moderate affinity, then that T cell gets to live. If it binds with strong affinity, that means that recognizes that peptide. The peptide fits into its antigen binding site, and that's bad because these are all self-peptides. 
so that T cell would undergo apoptosis because it would be self-reactive. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop there because there's another round of negative selection, uh, but I'm going to stop here. We'll talk about the other negative selection next.